Okay, so today we're looking at the OnGuard Bulldog DT standard size U-lock with the table. First of all, let's talk about the specifications. The internal measurements are 9 inches by 4.5 inches, which is around 23 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters. This is normal for a standard size U-lock. It weighs about 2.43 pounds, which is 1.10 kilograms. To give you an idea of how much that actually is, it's around the same weight as three cans, more or less three cans of standard size beer, soda, whatever. In terms of how secure this lock is, on guard themselves, Give it a 70 out of 100 security rating on the box. On the website, you will see that it has a 65 out of 100 security rating. I'm not sure why there is this discrepancy, but either way, they rate it as high security. In fact, compared to the other U locks in the Ongar range, this is the very bottom of the range in terms of security. Both uh, the pit bull and the brute offer offer a higher level of protection. But for me, I would consider this a, a medium level security bike lock. It's got a 13 millimeter shackle, which is a, a good thickness. It's going to that's going to resist all but the very biggest 42 inch uh, bolt cutters and should offer good protection from cutting, prying and jacking. It's double locked. You can see here that it's secured in two places. Some, some of your locks are only secured in one place. They're secured in one place, it means you can just cut the bar once and then easily separate a double deadlocked shackle should need to be cut twice to release it however i have heard anecdotal evidence that with this lock being at the bottom of the range even though it's double locked you can cut it once and pry it apart however For a lock of this, this price range, it's a, it's, it's a good shackle. The cylinder has also been redesigned recently and is bump proof and resistant to picking, pulling, and drilling. This particular U lock also comes with this 4 foot cable, which is 10 millimeters thick. The idea is that you secure the, the frame and one wheel, usually the back wheel, with the U-lock and then you attach this to the to the U-lock and around the other wheel, therefore also protecting the other wheel. The problem with these cables is that they don't offer very much protection at all. The one thing that all bike, lock, bike thieves carry our cable cutters and this can be snicked through in a matter of seconds so it's really more psychological protection than practical protection and you'd probably be better off if you have quick release reels to replace them with uh, hex bolts the best measure of how secure a bike lock is is uh, to compare it with uh, the ratings that other bike clocks have from the independent testers. Now Soul Secure is a UK based lock tester which uh, provides three ratings based on how secure a lock is. 
the top being gold, then silver, and then bronze. And really, when you're looking for a back lock, the very minimum you should go for is silver. This lock has a silver rating from Soul Secure, which is a, a decent level of protection in low to medium risk areas. Okay, how easy is it to carry around? U-locks by the nature are big, rigid things, which can be a challenge to, to carry around with you on your bike. This one, weighing just uh, uh, 1.10 kilograms, which is about 2.43 pounds, is one of the lightest standard size U-locks available. Certainly it offers a decent level of protection. So you could, you could carry this around in your bag, but it's still a little bit heavy. Remember, it's the same weight as three full cans of beer or pot. And that's, that's not great for carrying around. So it would be better if you had a frame mount. Now the pit bull comes with a frame mount. This is it here. The ins and outs of this um, frame mount are probably worthy of a, a video themselves. But just to give a quick summary, you get two sets of screws to attach it to your frame depending on how, how thick how thick the frame is. A shorter, a shorter pair and a slightly longer pair if you've got a mountain bike frame. For this this hybrid frame, the shorter the shorter screws were enough. And you can just fasten fasten them around the frame here, tighten them up. And then the, the lock you can just slot in here and turn around. And it's it's pretty stable. It feels pretty pretty robust for me. And then to, to remove it, there's a little clip. Which you just press down and then twist, get it out. And this this can be adjusted to, to various different uh, angles to suit the position you want it. And of course, this can be attached here. It can be attached to the top bar, depending on where you want it. It's, it's very flexible. And as I said before, it's quite a robust mount, and it feels to me like it's not going to slip if you tighten it tighten it well enough. How easy is it to use? Well, for me, um, U-locks by the nature are the easiest bike locks to use. Uh, the, the rigid structure makes it very easy to, to fit them around your bike and whatever you're locking your bike to. Much easier than threading a, threading a chain or a, a cable through the wheels and the, and the frame. Um, this particular uh, U-lock is a bit wider than a lot of other standard standard sized U-locks, uh, which gives you more options when you're when you're looking for places to ride your, to, to lock your bike. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. Um, the lock is covered in a sort of hard rubber material, which is going to protect your paintwork, but it's quite it's quite slippy, so you're not going to have any problems getting around your bike. Um, you get five five keys. With the bulldog, which is quite a lot. And one of these is a, is a big one with a light, which will help you help you find uh, the keyhole in the dark. And you are also eligible, depending on where you live, for the on guard key replacement program, where you can register your keys. And should you lose them, should you lose should you lose all five of them, you can get new ones sent out to you. To use it, it's very simple. Insert the key, rotate about 45 degrees, and it opens up. And with these ones, these type of uh, U locks, you can, it doesn't matter which way you lock it, you can lock it like this, or lock it this way. It's very straightforward. The 
Mm -hmm. There's no dust cover with the, with this lock. Now, dust covers can be useful in that they can protect the mechanism from dirt and grime and, and water uh, and stop it getting clogged up. But on the other hand, when you do have a dust lock, sometimes uh, water can get trapped behind it and uh, can freeze in the lock. So it's a two-edged, double-edged saw really, whether you have a, a, a dust a dust cover or not. If you live in a in a if you don't live in a really cold place, then it's probably a good thing to protect the lock from all the dirt. But if you're living in a a cold climate, then you need to be careful that water doesn't freeze behind it. In this case, you don't have them anyway. Um, on guard themselves have a, not the best reputation for um, weather protection and uh, it's a good idea um, with with all locks really but especially with on guard locks to to, to both to, to clean and lubricate the mechanism and also to clean and lubricate the bars where they meet in here. There's plenty of information on the website about how to do this and um, so just check there. Okay, so we can thread the cable through the front wheel, protecting it like this, and then with the U-lock, we fashion it around the frame. <coughs> Thread the cable through and then you've secured the back wheel, the frame and the front wheel. Another thing worth talking about here is the anti-theft protection you see here on the box. This is now offered by both OnGuard and Kryptonite uh, locks and uh, you can see here that for bicycles they offer protection of up to $1,501 and what this program this scheme is is that if you register for the anti-theft protection and your bike is stolen as a result of the lock being defeated then OnGuard will pay you up to that amount depending on the value of your bike this is the idea, but in practice, it's a little bit more complicated. The, the scheme is not free. You have to pay for it uh, and you have to register. Uh, it's, and then you have to renew it once the, the period that you've covered for finishes. And it's quite complicated. You have to send off receipts for the lock. You have to send off receipts for the bike, the valuation of the bike if you haven't got the receipt for the, for the bike. Uh, and then once your if your if your bike is then stolen, you need to send a whole load of things to one guard to prove that it was the lock that was at fault, including the lock itself. And in, in practice, this means that it's very very difficult to get on guard to to pay out from these schemes. And in fact, there is another there's a clause which differentiates the on guard protection from the kryptonite protection. And that is that if any sort of power tools were used to defeat the lock, then the, the protection is null and void. Um, so the, the fact that it's so complicated to, uh, to register for, uh, the exemptions that they impose on you, uh, just means basically it's very difficult for them to, to get them to pay out and it's not really worth it. If you're thinking about uh, insurance, and you should think about insurance, then I would recommend uh, trying to get your bike covered in your, under your home insurance or perhaps taking out um, specific bicycle insurance rather than depending on these anti-theft protection uh, schemes because uh, I just don't think they're worth it. There's a lot more information on the website about the restrictions they impose and what you need to do uh, if you want to register for them. So go you know, check that out. But as I say, it's probably best not to rely on them. Okay, so in conclusion, what do we make of the On Guard Bulldog DT? Well, for me, I think it's a really, really good 
medium security, budget price, you look. It's a great size, this, this standard size gives you lots of options when you're looking for somewhere to, to lock your bike. Um, this one being slightly wider gives you even more options. It's only a little bit wider but it can make a bit of a difference. Um, the frame mount is not bad. It's not, it's not fantastic, but it's a, it's a solid, solid frame up. Probably better than the, the Kryptonite frame out. Um, the negative points, the customer service with OnGuard is not perhaps as good uh, as, as Kryptonite, but it's certainly not as good as with Kryptonite. Um, the build quality is much improved in OnGuard locks now, uh, but you need to make sure to weatherproof them if you want them to last a long time and it's you need to remember that it's a medium security lock um, I mean only the biggest uh, bolt cutters are going to be able to get through this 13mm shackle but it is it, it can be if a, if a thief gets the lock in the right position it can be pried it certainly can be jacked it can be twisted uh, it's not a really high security lock. It's great in low to medium uh, risk areas, but if you are living in a big, uh, big city or big town, even um, if you're on a college campus or university, places where there's lots of bike theft, then you perhaps should think about a slightly higher level of security. However, it's a it's a really it's a really well priced uh, medium security lock, and I think for the price, it's really really good value for money. I mean, we're talking about thirty dollars, twenty pounds. I mean, that's a that's, that's a great price for such a level of protection. Of course, if it's not quite right for you, there are alternatives. Uh, the Pitbull, the on guard Pitbull is the is the model above this in terms of security and you get a big increase in security there and check out the price, you know, it's no more than ten dollars more, uh, fifteen dollars more, and sometimes you can find it at the same price. So check that out. Uh, the Kryptonite alternative is the Kryptonite Cryptolock Series 2 which offers a similar level of protection. Uh, you get a better standard of customer service from Kryptonite and, and I think uh, perhaps it's a little bit easier to use the Kryptonite lock because of the, 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 the bent leg. Uh, and if you're looking for something even cheaper, then if you're in the States, you have the Amber from CocoaWeb, which is a, a much bigger, bigger U-lock uh, much heavier you look, but it's also even cheaper than on guard, I think. Um, so check those out as well. But have a look on the website, there's loads of reviews, loads of comparisons, perhaps things are a bit clear on the website, uh, and do check out the information about how to look after your lock and make sure it lasts a long time. Okay, thanks a lot.